Hey guys, Joe McMenamin here. I've been thinking a lot lately about my why. I'm trying to think about, you know, why am I creating art? Why am I um, making these videos um, to sort of teach art and encourage other people to be creative? And in order to kind of go a bit deeper with that, I recruited my dad. Um, my dad is um, Dr. Donald McMenamin. He is a narrative therapist. And um, he's also written the book, Two Islands in a Boat. Um, which he asked me to illustrate for him. Um, and we've been doing some filming for his, um, his counseling work. And uh, so I thought it'd be cool to just grab the opportunity, have a conversation, and just see where it goes. So I hope you find this um, helpful and um, get a little bit um, of more of an insight into my why. Well, um, Joe, I'm, I'm really interested. You've been um, putting videos onto YouTube lately? Yes. Can you tell me something about that? Like, what have you been putting up? Um, so I've been doing a bunch of different videos, um, some of me drawing and painting, um, some of me kind of teaching classes, and also some mural projects, you know, some time-lapse yeah. um, projects of the murals I've been painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And whereabouts do you make those? Uh, so just, well, the, the videos I make here in my studio, in my yeah. home, yeah. Um, and I've just got a little simple setup with camera and lighting and that sort of thing, and then some of them are on location, you know, at the schools or wherever yeah. I'm painting. Yeah, I've seen some of them. Did some of them have like drones in them? Uh, no, not drones, just no, the, just the just GoPro. The, <laughs> yeah, 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 lovely. Yeah, yeah. That that action of um, recording your work and then putting it into like a public setting, yeah, like YouTube. What what's your intention there? What do you what's your purpose in doing that? So I guess I'm, I'm wanting to just share what I'm doing, yeah. um, but I'm also hoping to, you know, inspire some people or, um, you know, and especially with the teaching, with the classes, I want to try and, you know, teach people some skills and encourage them to, to make art themselves. Yeah. yeah. Your intention is to teach people, inspire people, show what it is that you're doing. Yeah. If you, if you had a best hope for, I'm putting some stuff on YouTube, in fact, quite a bit of stuff on YouTube as it happens. Yeah. Um, I'm putting some stuff, my best hope for that would be, I guess, uh, you know, I'd love people to um, be able to see what I put up and just be encouraged, you know, and be inspired. And I think I think there's a lot of barriers that people have to, to making art themselves. And one of those is a lack of confidence um, and not so feeling like they're not, you know, good enough and doing it and so I think learning a few foundational skills and then just having a, a way to yeah you know share their work mm -hmm. and be encouraged I think mm -hmm. is a really positive thing to do. Mm -hmm. I've watched some of the people whom I know um, participate in your lessons and watch what emerges and, and yeah it does in fact have that effect <laughs> of encouragement and so on. Yeah. Um, you want to inspire people, you want to encourage people you want them to feel like they maybe can do this. Yeah. I've got this idea that, um, you know, kids are just kind of, they love doing art. Young kids, you know, they just, yeah. they pick yeah. up paper, and yeah. pencils, paint, whatever, and they just yeah. do it. And they, they have no kind of worries about what it's going to look like. And, and I think as we get older, we kind of lose that, that freedom to create. Yeah. And that joy of just kind of making art, yeah. and, you know, and I guess maybe partly it's about comparing to others or, um, you know, being told that, that, that that's not the right way to do it or that you're coloured outside the lines or whatever it is. Sure. But, so I just, I think there's a real, um, there's a real value in sort of rediscovering that, that sort of um, freedom of creativity. So I'd love to help people do that. Do you, do, do you have an idea that, that humans kind of have a creative impulse or something that, that we get distanced from. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think we, you know, there's something that's, that happens when we are creative. There's something special that happens. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. it doesn't even have to be art, you know. It could be in the garden or yep. it could be, um, you know, in the shed or cooking or anything. But I just think there's something, something special that happens when you make something with your hands, you know. What? I don't know. What is it? <laughs> it's some. There's just yeah. There's something that's I don't know. There's something that just kind of um, 
fills you up in a way that, you know, scrolling through social media or, um, you know, going to work or, the, or doing jobs, those sort of things just don't, don't fill you up in the same way. There's something about the creative project, mm. being a creator, in, in whatever shape it takes. Yeah. It fills people up somehow. Yeah. Kind of fills your, well, it's not the right words, but fills your love tank, you know, mm. kind of, mm. um, yeah, it, it's wholesome and it just, it's, you know, you make something, it's got, mm. yeah, it's got real value. Yeah. yeah. That, would, that would have effects for people. When you think about your own creative project, what effects does it have for you? Like, like yeah. physically or, or, or mentally? I just, you know, I, I know that when I make something, I feel proud. You know, even if I'm not that happy with it, I'm kind of like, yeah, I've, I've made this. Yeah. And um, and I also feel like as, a, as an artist that I'm on a journey, you know, each time I'm making a piece of work, I'm discovering and I'm getting a bit better or I'm trying to figure out the ideas that I want to explore. Um, yeah, it's a way of expressing myself, and um, yeah. So there's, there's something in there about yeah. you're putting up videos in in this project, <laughs> yeah, on behalf of helping people to to in a sense step back into the creativeness that they already have, but might have stepped away from. Yeah, and there's something there about. Um, about helping them because because that's good for them in some way. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I've had people say that they've, you know, they haven't done art for for years and years, and they've just sort of picked it up and this, they rediscovered that this is something that they love. Yeah. yeah. And I just yeah, that just gives me such a buzz to yeah. to help people do that. So there's something there about uh, rediscovering an innate. Creativity, yeah. But there's also something in your videos about, and this is how you you can do it. Yeah. Hold the pencil like this. Yes. Yeah. Use this color for these reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think yeah, the teacher in me wants to help people improve. <laughs> you know, I want to I want to teach some skills that kind of some foundational skills that help you sort of build build up. And because there is a thing I think where you if you kind of keep doing something without learning or improving yeah it can be a bit disheartening you know yeah. if you keep yeah keep figuring out oh this is actually really hard but if you can slowly improve yeah. get a bit better each time um that's that's really encouraging so creativity innate creativity can be fostered yeah with with good teaching yeah and and that's like a circle because the more it's fostered the more the creative impulse kind of flows and yeah yeah and it's kind of incremental yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, for adults and for kids, you know, I think, um, you know, what, how would we feel about kids using devices and, you know, playing on screens? It's kind of, it, it, it's fine, but it's, but doing art and being creative is, is such a kind of a wholesome or such a, mm -hmm. it's such a positive mm -hmm. activity mm -hmm. to be doing that I think. Mm -hmm. I'd love to, you know, encourage more kids to get into mm -hmm. art. And, and that, you know, I guess that starts with parents just sort of helping their kids, giving them what they need to do it and, mm -hmm. um, you know, mm -hmm. starting like that. So let me ask you, that, that idea that, that you're in support of people kind of stepping back into their own creativity yeah. and that you're in support of developing that creativity carefully across time. Yeah. What is it about that that's important to you? Why, when you think about... This is a project I'm involved in. What's important about that project? Um, I guess I just I want to kind of share share this experience, share this creative experience that I have. Um, and I just yeah, I just love the the idea of helping people to to realize that in themselves, and um, and it's something that I'm that I enjoy and that I'm good at and that I do for my job. So I you know feel like. Kind of giving back and, and helping people is is what I want to be doing. So there's an altruism, <laughs> yeah. a kind of yeah. I, I want to help others. Yeah, and there's a kind of a self-centered piece in there, which is I love doing this stuff. Yeah, and and I'm good at it. So yeah, and I mean, and it's my work, you know. Um, yeah. So I get paid to do murals and paintings, and sure. so it's there, there's a definitely a, a benefit to me of you know being seen by more people and having my art out there. Um, but I think it goes it goes beyond that as well. Yeah, so there's quite a pragmatic piece. Yeah. 
work related and personal joy related. Yeah. And there's quite an altruistic piece of participating in the world to make it kind of a more creative place in, in its own. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. And, and how would the world, forgive me asking this question, how, how would the world be different if people were more into their creative selves? What, what difference do you think that might make? Yeah. Um, I, I'm not sure. I think, yeah, it would, it would definitely kind of be a positive for people to, to do more creative pursuits. Mm. Um, I mean, I can only speak about, for myself, I know that when I, when I am creative mm. and, I, and I make art, I know that I feel better in myself and I feel more confident. And mm. um, it, it's, you know, it's definitely good for me. It's something that I know is good for me. Mm. Um, so I think other people will, will experience that as well, and probably have already experienced that. Yeah, I'm thinking about some of the work you've done in schools with groups of kids, for instance. Yeah. But could you say something about what you've noticed amongst them? As oh, yeah. This? Absolutely. And, you know, when I go into schools and I paint murals <coughs> and, and I have a bunch of kids, you know, helping me, they, they love that, you know, and they can say, oh, you know, I painted that mural, and so they're proud, mm. and they get to learn a few skills, and... Mm. Um, yeah, there's a there's a kind of a mana or a you know um, pride that comes from mm. from being involved in that. Mm. Um, so you get a real buzz out of out of mm. doing that. Yeah. Feels like a nice balance between this this project works for me. Yeah. And this project works for us. At at some level. Yeah. And yeah, I I think in general, um, you know, art and creativity. Sometimes it takes a back seat to you know to some of the more maybe academic subjects or mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know and it can be it can be something that's sort of pushed aside um, but I, I just think it's a it's a really important part of who we are as people about being creative mm -hmm. and, and art is one way to express that to, to be a person yeah yeah, right. yeah thank you and, and thanks for your work putting up those um, those videos we appreciate it cool. Okay, thanks. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. 115, 100, what, 60? <laughs> 140 plus GST. <laughs> oh.